everybody welcome welcome to healthy living today is sunday i think today is march the 5th it's a beautiful day like always and not only that how y'all doing <laughs> this is a spare of a moment so you have to excuse the way i look because we just got through cleaning the boat we went fishing saturday y'all we had an awesome time we were snatching a red to end and you will get to see them so today Today, I'm going to pull up the core board. I'm going to dig a little bit and I'm going to put the reds um, that's left over from us for laying from last night. But what you're getting ready to see me do is uh, how I prepare the garden, getting it ready when I have fish. And that's about it. That's I just wanted to share with you all. And let's hope that I keep it moving and grooving and get done before it gets dark. I hope you can handle this. But this is the fish that is going to go into the garden. dirt what we always be looking for is the worm I hope y'all can see the Sun is kind of bright on the other side we got dragonflies out I have my fish over there this is what I used to do before I started buying all that fertilizer This one I'm talking about, y'all. This is a red. Comment and let me know if this is something you do. Comment and let me know if this is something that you do in your garden. Okay, so this is what it's looking like. If this is too much for you, I understand. A lot of people can't handle it. So, I have some fish right there. And I have more, so I'll start uh, covering the fish up. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to use my other soil that we have. This one here. I think this will be good to have it down and let the worms be able to uh, break it down. Oh my goodness, y'all, look at this. I covered it up and now I'm uncovering it. And look what I have. I got grass growing. Oh my goodness. Oh well. I'm going to take this and I'm going to cover the fish up with it and then take the good grass and cover it on top. 
I had some other dirt that's already in the wheelbarrow that I have to get rid of before I use the dirt that's on the ground. Okay, this is what it looks like. Only did half of it. Over here, I still have some carrots that is growing, so I'm not gonna mess with that. Um, another thing I would like to share with you is my asparagus. I'm gonna harvest this one. We're gonna have fish tonight, but I don't have enough asparagus to eat for dinner. I have two more that's growing them popped up the rest of these has went to uh, pretty much I call them like ferns like plants you don't want to mess with them when they like that and what I have left is this fish here I'm going to put it somewhere else in the garden I'm not going to bother you all with it but you know that I'm going to use it just like I used it there. Once again, I want to say thank you for tuning in to Healthy Living. Thank you for all the new subscribers and all the ones that's coming to view my channel. I could not do this without you. Here are my asparagus I'm using to talk with y'all. And normally, I will wash it. Mmm. <laughs> I thought I done did that work. I think I deserve asparagus. What y'all think? Okay. Mm, mm, mm. Let's go take a look at the dirt over here. I have plenty more dirt. Um, I'm going to have enough to put this in my new raised bed. And I need to hurry up eventually because I don't want to kill my grass underneath. All that's going to do is add more work on us trying to take care of this uh dead grass underneath this uh tarp and so you know we're not trying to cause no more than we need to cause right we're trying to do what we need to do to get done all right you all see you all in the next video thanks for watching